This is the Singer 21C. It's yet another hypercar with a promised 0 to 60 time of 1.9 seconds. But as crazy as it is to say, that's not the special part of this car. The unique part is that the 21C's frame is made up of a lattice of 3D printed aluminum nodes connected together with carbon fiber poles. These nodes are printed by firing a laser onto a bed of fine aluminum powder to print a layer of the node. Once the layer is complete, more powder is pushed on top of that printed layer and the process repeats until you get the finished product. But the 21C represents more than just a cool 3D printed project. It represents the slow but sure shift from the bottlenecks of traditional manufacturing to digitizing manufacturing into software. It represents turning billions of dollars and years of development to make a new product into maybe a few million dollars in a few weeks. It represents saving more lives from the global shortage of organ transplants by just printing more organs. It represents the start of the 3D printing industrial revolution. So we're right at the beginning of, of a revolution. Yeah, this is a, this is a fourth industrial revolution in the making. It's both better, cheaper, faster. Uh, it's going to actually evolve more quickly than other technologies. Our printing technology has surpassed even where sci-fi has put some, some parts of technology, which is often surprising to see. Videos like this take a lot of time and energy to make. That's why I really appreciate sponsors like Skillshare. The first 500 people who click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare Premium with access to over 25,000 classes in business, entrepreneurship, and tech. Check it out with the link below. Meet Relativity. Co-founded by previous SpaceX and Blue Origin employees, they're working on bringing the power of 3D printing to disrupt 60 years of aerospace engineering. Now claiming to disrupt an industry is about as cliche as it gets for startups these days, but Relativity is pretty promising. Backed by big investors like Mark Cuban, Y Combinator, and partnered with giants like the US Air Force and NASA, they've created the world's largest 3D printer with the aim of churning out shiny new rockets in as little as 60 days. Compare that to SpaceX Falcon 9, which takes around 18 months to build, or up to five years for something more complex like the space shuttle. Normally getting a tank, of this size um, and like aerospace or rocket quality um, would take you well over 12 months. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, it's like seven days of print time. Actually. Seven days. Now that it's developed, yeah, seven days, yeah. This is done by automating the entire process. We have a patent that covers the real-time controls during the printing process. And that patent covers novel techniques for applying machine learning and AI Compared to other methods of 3D printing metal like the one we saw the hypercar use, which Relativity does use for smaller parts of the rocket, instead of laying out a bed of metal powder, Relativity retrofitted a giant robot arm to feed in aluminum wire and melt it on the spot with a powerful laser. Imagine it kind of like forming a clay bowl on a wheel, but instead of clay, it's metal. And instead of placing clay onto the wheel first and then working it with your hands, the printer lays down the metal as the base spins, slowly forming different sections of the rocket. Rocket. Not only is this process faster with different rocket sections being able to be printed in parallel, but one of the biggest advantages is flexibility. Then the traditional factories are made of tons of fixed tooling. Then very expensive, very hard to change, then where you have to retool a factory in order to make a new product or even change the product slightly. For us, we can change all of that in software. So it's digitizing the manufacturing process and providing that flexibility where if you push new code to the printers and the hardware on the factory floor, you can actually make an entirely different product without changing anything in hardware. Since you can 3D print complex shapes all at once, Relativity has been able to cut down on the number of different parts in a rocket by upwards of 100 times. And like any product, the less parts there are, the less things can break. That's how they're able to manufacture an entire rocket engine that only has three parts in nine days. And with all these advantages coming together into one, they have the long-term goal of sending these printers up onto a rocket, sending it off to Mars to build rockets on Mars. That way astronauts that land on Mars have another way to get home easier. 
Relativity are far from the only ones to have thought of the potential for 3D printing in aerospace, which has been around for a few years now. SpaceX has already integrated 3D printing into the Dragon spacecraft made to carry humans. They've done this in the craft's emergency escape system, which is powered by their Super Draco engines, in which the combustion chambers are fully 3D printed. Another startup called Launcher have also joined the party with a focus in helping the small satellite market launch more affordably with their 3D printed copper rocket engines. But unlike their competitors, Relativity is the only company with the goal of a near 100% 3D printed rocket aimed for launch in 2021. Time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the space industry is in a fascinating age. Aside from the faraway frontier of space, back in Tabasco, Mexico, 3D printing is hitting a little closer to home. Tabasco is home to some of the lowest income families in Mexico with $76.50 per month or less than $3 a day as the median income with a good chunk of them living in makeshift unsafe shelter. This is the site that the startup icon chose to create the world's first 3D printed housing community to support the families living in extreme poverty. Thanks to their new Vulcan 2 concrete home printer, they're able to provide these people with 500 square foot homes featuring two beds, a living room, kitchen, and bath while while being stronger and more resilient than traditionally built homes that can withstand the earthquakes in the region because you know it's concrete and each of these homes were built in just around 24 hours of total print time spread out over a few days what we've been able to do is create something that you just set up once on a foundation you hook it up to our magma system this is our material delivery system that we've built in-house and then you're off to the races. Their latest update was back in December with two out of the 50 homes already built. This Mexico project was about as difficult of a project as you can possibly imagine. It's a seismic zone. It's extremely remote. Power cuts out from time to time. Uh, there are safety concerns you know, in, the, in this part of Mexico. It's just not very safe sometimes. You put all that together and it's just like an enormous challenge, not just from a technology perspective, just operationally. The core of what makes this possible is the printer and the proprietary concrete mix. The printer itself can build up to 2,000 square feet in virtually any floor plan faster with less waste at around half of the cost of traditional home building. If you ever see normal concrete poured, it kind of just flows over like a thicker liquid, which wouldn't really work work in an application like this, so they've had to create a new mix from scratch that's able to keep its form while printing at high speeds providing enough strength and insulation and that can be made with raw materials available around the world. And thanks to this, they're able to replace all the traditional wood, insulation, and drywall in one fell swoop. And of course, everything is controlled from a tablet. Icon's 3D printed homes aren't just for people living in absolute poverty though. They're working on a housing community in Austin, Texas as we speak. They've got a few partnerships right now and apparently many more in the pipeline. So maybe in the future, the next home you buy might be a 3D printed one. One of the limits of mechanical engineering is that we're limited by what our tools can make, especially when it comes to dealing with metal. So instead of manufacturing following design, it's design following behind what manufacturing can do. Although we're far from getting rid of that limitation altogether even with 3D printing, a company called Desktop Metal is taking a step in the right direction. Tools are fairly difficult to use to create very, very complex shapes. But with additive manufacturing of metal, we can create crazy shapes. They've created a software that uses algorithms to generate the most efficient, strongest design using the least amount of material. Designs that would be too difficult to make with traditional tools, but it's just another day in the life of a 3D printer. So what we're doing is we're sort of subjecting these parts to this washing machine effect of dynamic transitional forces. So what we have is the ability to very quickly create shapes that are very strong and lightweight, where basically the cell mass is distributed only where it's needed. Yet another example of 3D printing bringing the world of software and hardware a little closer together. It's not like you tell a computer, make it buy or inspire shape. It's that you tell a computer, give me the most efficient shape, and the shape that you're getting looks bio.
3D printing has been around for a few decades now, but it's only really started making its way to the mainstream back in 2009 when a few key patents started to expire which paved the way for huge price drops and improvements in the technology. But the biggest thing holding 3D printing back is still cost. With traditional mass production, as you produce more goods, the cost continues to drop, also known as the economies of scale. But with 3D printing, as you print more copies, the price doesn't go down enough to justify completely replacing mass production, along with the other limitations of 3D printing with the strength of these printed parts. That's why leading up to now, 3D printing has only been used for what it was best for, prototyping new designs extremely fast. But the CEO of Desktop Meadow thinks that that age has already started coming to an end. In 3D printing, the first 20 years was used for prototyping. And now we're going into a new phase of 3D printing where we, we go from prototyping into mass production. And that has huge implications. If we can reduce the raw material cost with better supply and decrease 3D printer machine costs, we can lower this line and open up more parts to being replaced by 3D printing. And as we've seen in this video, 3D printing has already moved its way into huge areas of humanity. And it's only gonna go up from here. If there's one thing we can agree on and take away from these videos, it's this. The world is moving really fast and in many different directions. In 3D printing alone, we just covered three different movements happening in the space, with many more that I didn't even have time to cover. And as the famous business theorist Ari the Goose puts it, the ability to learn faster than your competitors may be the only sustainable competitive advantage. Which basically means that if you're not learning fast and a lot, you're not gonna last. That's why I love sponsors like Skillshare, because not only do they make these videos easier for me to make, but they allow people like you to learn more of what you're interested in faster on your own time so that you don't just survive in this fast-paced world, but you thrive. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community where for less than $10 a month, you get access to over 25,000 classes from experts and creators on every topic you can think of, including business, entrepreneurship, coding, and much more. And the first 500 people who click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare Premium with access to all these classes so that you can start building up your repertoire of skills to thrive in all these new waves happening right now, just like 3D printing. So check it out with the link below, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain, and you get to support the brands that help make this channel possible. Welcome to the Watch The End Club, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos just like this one, I make video essays just like this on the most interesting and like provocative stuff in the world of business every single week for your viewing pleasure. So please consider clicking that red subscribe button below along with the bell icon right next to it because the channel is growing pretty fast and you get to be a part of the first 100,000 subscribers with the prize being my appreciation and more free videos. If you wanna support this channel financially, check out Skillshare. It's a win for you and it's a win for me and it's a win for Skillshare, so everyone wins. You can follow me on Instagram at jaketrend.io. That is gonna be enough shameless plugs for this video. You've been awesome, I've been Jake. I'll see you guys in the next one.